Hi, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create expandable list view in Android using Kotlin. So let's get started. First, we create our project. Here, I'm selecting empty views activity and click on next. Name of your project. Here, I'm selecting language Kotlin and click on finish. So first we create layouts for group headers and child items. Here open layout and here we create layout resource file, name it and create one more layout resource file and name it list item. So these two XML file define how the group header and the child items should be displayed. So first open list group.xml and here we use text view. Now open list item.xml and here we use a text view. Now open activity main.xml and here we add expandable list view. This is where the expandable list will be displayed. So here we use linear layout. With orientation vertical. And here we add expandable list view. Now we create an adapter. So here we click on Kotlin class file and here we provide the name. So here we create mutable list type of a string. A similarly for child item. Here we create mutable list type of string and this class extend base expandable adapter. Now implement methods. So here we implement all the methods. So first is get group count. This will help us to get the total number of groups. Now the next one is get children count and this, this will help us to get the number of children in a specified group. So here we return. So here P0 represents the position, which tells us the position for the parent. 
or group of the child and by using that position we can calculate the number of children in that group so now next is get group and this help us to get the data associate within the group and here p0 tell us the position for the parent and or group of the child and written the integer type value now next is get child it help us to get the data associate within the given child within the given group here p0 represent the group position which tells the position for the parent or group of the child and returns the integer value the next is p1 this tell us the position for the child of a given group and return the integer value now next is get group id this method get the id of the group at the given position here p0 represent the group position which tell us the position of the parent or group of the child or by using that position we can get the id of the group so here we return now next is get child id to get the id for the given child within the specified group here p0 represent the group position p1 represent the child position so here we use p1 dot too long now next method is get group view this is used to create a group of parent view here p0 tell us the position of the parent and return the integer value p1 indicate whether the group expanded and if so return true otherwise false next return the view which is used to set the layout of a group item and and p3 represent parent which is used to set the view for the parent or group item so here layout inflator creates view objects based on layouts defined in xml get child view this method used to create child view means a child item for a parent or group here p0 represent group position p1 represent child position is a p2 represent returns either true or false for the current child item is last child within its group and p3 is a convert view which returns view which is used to set the layout for the child item and p4 is parent which is used to set the view for the parent or group item so here we inflate our child xml file here we inflate list item
Now open mainactivity.kt. So first we get the expandable list view ID from XML file by using find view by ID. So now we create mutable list for header and child items. Now we create header one. Now we add child items. Similarly, we create header two. Now here we add header dot add and here we pass a header one. Now we set the expandable list view dot set adapter. And here we pass our header. And child item. Now run the project. So here you can see the output. When I click in header one, here you can see the child items. Similarly for header two. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.